After that, what do I do is, I just write down its empirical formula. So it is C4H9. This is the empirical formula. But the task is not to find out just the empirical formula. The task is to find out the molecular formula, right? This is the most important thing. That's the question actually. If you want, you can pause the video here and follow the procedure taught in the previous sum. Okay, and you can later on you can play the video and you can cross check if you are doing it in the correct way or not. Okay, I continue from here. The empirical formula is this 12 times 4 plus 1 times 9. Why did I do 12 times 4? Because the empirical formula says I have 4 carbon atoms, that's why 12 times 4. Well, 12 is the atomic mass of carbon and 4 atoms plus 1 times 9. Since I have 9 atoms of hydrogen, I use 9. 1 is the atomic mass of hydrogen. Perfect. I just add them up, I get the answer as 57. Subscript Z is equal to molecular formula mass upon empirical formula mass. The molecular formula mass is given to us, which is 114. And the empirical formula mass is something that we just calculated. We divide 114 by 57. And the answer that we get is 2. Later on, you multiply this subscript with the empirical formula to calculate the molecular formula. So molecular formula is Z times C4H9. The value of Z is 2 which has been substituted here as 2 times C4H9. And finally you write down the molecular formula that is C8H18. I hope you thoroughly understood this entire process. Okay, And here we come to the end of the lecture. I will be sending you all the class sheets and the assignment sheets. I expect you all to complete the class sheet by 12.30 pm and the assignment sheets by 8.30 pm.